What is going on, everybody? So I've got some pretty cool breaking news. I am over on the Amazon Warehousing and Distribution Product Eligibility page, and I noticed that they quietly added the ability to send in perishable expiration dated products. Uh, and it says here, your expiration date has to be at least 185 days in the future from the inbound shipment creation date in order to be eligible for AWD. So this is pretty cool news, actually, if you are interested in logistics. And if you're not, you should be because logistics is a major part of any Amazon business and where a lot of businesses spend way too much money when they shouldn't have to be. So if you're not familiar with Amazon warehousing and distribution, this is basically Amazon's 3PL where they're competing with 3PL. So instead of having your product sitting in a 3PL and then you send from the 3PL to FBA and of course paying now those inbound placement fees if you're not willing to break up your shipment to five locations or more, Instead of doing that, you send your products into AWD. You can store them long-term in AWD for very cheap rates. As of the recording of this episode or this uh, video, it's about 38 cents per square foot, although they've got some promotions to get it down to even 20 cents per square foot. Uh, but regardless, it's relatively cheap for most products. And so you can send in your case packed products to Amazon AWD and take advantage of that long-term storage and then also drip feed that product into FBA from AWD for a pretty cheap inbound shipping fee. Definitely cheaper than shipping directly to FBA. Assuming your product isn't you know, super oversized or something like that and you, you only have a few products in a case pack or one product in a case pack because AWD, again, only operates with case packs, not individual products. Um, but if you can do that, then you can take advantage of things like automatic replenishment of FBA so that Amazon is automatically sending in products from AWD to keep you in stock. So you're not paying long-term storage fees. You're not paying short-term storage fees or anything like that. You can also manually send in products from AWD also to ensure that you are uh, keeping in stock in case you, you know, want to keep an eye on the auto replenisher as it figures out your products and makes sure that it's sending in properly. Um, but wanted to get this news out there, uh, kind of breaking news. Amazon did not allow expiration date dated products before, and now they are allowing expiration dated products. So uh, over at Amazon Storage Pros, uh, this is one of the things that we help you guys with with your logistics. So if you want to find out if you are overpaying on your storage and on your fees and on your shipping and if AWD might be a good fit for your business or not, head on over to amazonstoragepros.com, click on this big orange button right here and get your free storage costs audit today. And uh, so just click here, schedule your call and we can go through your Seller Central account and show you exactly where you're spending too much money on your inbound placement fees, your product fees, your storage costs, things like that, and show you where you can save money and how you might be able to save that money as well uh, in that storage call. So if you're interested in that, again, amazonstoragepros.com, jump on over there. We'd be happy to give you that free audit or we can just jump on a discovery call and uh, see if it would be a good fit for us to work together as well. So uh, pretty cool news there with the perishables and expiration dated products. Hopefully if you are using, having expiration dated products, uh, you can take advantage of AWD, especially if you have those case pack products that have uh, the larger number of products in a case pack, the 
more inexpensive AWD can be for you. So let me know if you have any questions. Be happy to help you guys out with your logistics. Uh, Todd Wells signing off. Happy selling, everybody.